I'd like to have your thoughts on persuasion. You know, we, so much of our political debate these days is trying to persuade people to see things the way I do, think, think the way I do. Does that really work? How, what is effective persuasion? Well, uh, the first thing to know is people think with their brains. Thought is physical there. It's in your neural system. And so, um, you, and you can't understand anything that your neural system doesn't allow you to understand. So you've got to address things, uh, uh, talking to people where their brains are. You have to start with how people do understand things now and how you can move that step by step. And that's something that's very, very important. Uh, a lot of people with uh, respect to global warming, you notice the term climate change, as I said, is a, a, the conservative term. You know, this is you know, made up by Frank Luntz as if uh, it just changed. The fact that we are responsible for this is important. And then the it is collective responsibility, and the question is, how does individual responsibility enter into that? And the answer is, it, you know, all collectivities are collectivities of individuals. That is, the question is, what are you doing? What is your life like? What are your friends' lives like? Uh, and what can you do to uh, look at organizations, uh, at institutions, and so on, that contribute to all of this. Uh, in short, what you're asking is, what is the system of, that, that, uh, of institutions that affects climate? And we don't really have a very good um, uh, take on this right now. I wouldn't know where to go to say, what is the system of institutions that affects uh, climate change. Uh, 